Hey guys, it's Brats the World here with a very special video. Welcome if you're new here today watching your videos or welcome if you're already a subscriber. Um, so today we have a very, very, very exciting haul. Yes. Don't show it yet. I wasn't. Good, don't show it yet. I'm he's, so excited. He's really so like, we, they came this morning. Oh my God. We So we've been waiting for this release since they were leaked, unfortunately, yeah. months ago. So, and then when they got a proper leak, I guess, our excited excitement just fueled even more, but we've now been obsessed since day one. Yeah, we've been yeah, like they're just so good. You know, yeah. what? let's just show them. I'm tired of fucking freaking talking. Bam. The, the, so the we got so the brand new. Yes, we got a set for each of us because yeah. they're so good. We got the brand new um Bratz at Mobile Lola designer dolls that are for this fall. They are $60.99, well, $60.97 at Walmart. I will say, when this video goes out, Felicia unfortunately is sold out. Um, I do have the links on my Twitter, at Brats the World. I will link my Twitter in the information part, in the description, I mean. So, um, yeah. They're I gonna be available on Amazon. Yeah, they're gonna be also available on Amazon and Target. I think those are street dated. Don't know when they're gonna be out. But Walmart randomly, it, this is a funny story. So on Wednesday, we were going to the Target, right? And then I saw one of my followers on Instagram put a screenshot that, oh, I just ordered the new designer dolls. And I'm like, huh? So I go on my Walmart app and I just write Bratz designer dolls and it's M1, M2. So M1 is Jade, M2 is Felicia. So literally I just ordered them. There was no stock photos, by the way. So I just ordered them. We just ordered them because we were waiting for this release for like ever, ever. I thought they were gonna have a pre-order. I'm actually very happy I just got to buy them very very happy and just recently the designer just casually shows us jade remember when she, <laughs> remember when she just randomly leaked felicia yeah and she, and we were like whoa hold on yeah. i like let me catch my breath i got my coins together i was so happy i got a brand new job y'all that's also another thing in life i left my other job got a brand new better job with better benefits and better pay so paying for these i had no problem at same all full price <laughs> same thing for him we had no problem at all but she recently showed Jade, and I was like, whoa. And this is Jade's birthday, November 4th. It is Canon, her birthday. Sorry for the glare. We have the window open because the lighting is beautiful for today. Yeah. So we're taking it's like all- like in the morning. Yeah, so we're taking all the advantage. We literally like woke up. We woke up and-, and my mom calls me and she was like, oh, you have two huge boxes from Walmart downstairs. So we were like, oh! We, we stood up from bed, ran We just out. ran. <laughs> I was like, oh, hold on. Yeah. And I want to say, I'm gonna save that for when we open them, actually. Uh, but I, I just wanna uh, quickly, from both of us, think to Mobile Lola herself. Yeah. She's not watching this, she's definitely not gonna watch this video, but if you do stumble upon it, girl, thank you for your vision. Your vision design. Your vision and the designs are amazing. I want a wave two. Contact MGA saying you wanna make more dolls. Yes. We want Sasha and I need want. another white girl, because Chloe already got her designer doll. <laughs> Sasha Please. and Dana. Or, Sasha or, and Dana. Or, or Kina or something. <laughs> ki ki or Tiana. Or anybody. Please give us a, wa a bigger wave. I don't know. I just want you to work with MGA again. Yeah. Um, so if you guys don't know, just quick background information on Mawalola. She is a British based designer, I want to say. Because um, I did do some research on her when we first started getting like just tidbits of information and her vision is like it's out there it's not for everyone i can say that it's definitely not for everyone but i'm a person who appreciates all forms of fashion whether if it's regular or like just out there yeah. i appreciate all forms fashion for is fashion medical. exactly um that's why i was not mad when i saw these at all because i saw the vision and when you guys see these faces, oh my god. They're amazing. Oh They're my god. One of the best Brad's faces since like Who knows? Forever. Who knows? Like, like I'm I got a front. I was though. scared that like Oh what that when they were first leaked, with the way that they, they were, were just so pretty. They no, they were describe no the way they were describing oh, yes. them. They're like um gap teeth and i was like oh that's different but i'm scared to see how that looks like and then what is it felicia leaks and i'm like oh my god like gorgeous and i will say though just this is the first felicia with an open mouth ever like literally ever but yeah i'm gonna stop yeah. talking and what, Wait, what, what let me say something i was scared because like brats has been struggling with like 
their screenings. And like they have spray method again. So if you buy any yeah. Brat stall from this fall specifically, Girls Night Out, Series 2, Mobile Lola, and Colt Gaia. So we're, first of all, we're getting fed as brass collectors yeah. this fall. So we're gonna try to get everything. And second, this is the first time since 2018 that we get sprayed faces. And sprayed faces, if you don't know, it's a it's an applicator method for screenings. So um, it makes the eyes more like um, cat eye, elongated, makes the lips plumpier. I'm not gonna front though. First batch of girls, now that was a mess, but now they look better. Yeah. But yeah, um, it looks exactly like the prototypes, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. And I'm very happy that we yeah. have something that looks like the stock yeah. photos. I mean, not identical, but it's pretty close. We don't even know what the stock photos look like. I just know whatever Mobile Lola got herself in that. You haven't seen stock photos. <laughs> I know, that's the crazy part. I know she got the sample ones, but like, they look just like the one she got. Yeah. So, but yeah, other than that, what's gonna happen is since there's only two from each line, we're gonna review one each. Yeah. Um, who do you wanna do? I don't care. You don't care? Okay, so I'll do Felicia, and he's gonna do Jade. So, oh shoot. So but, before we open yeah. them, this is the packaging. Yeah. So it has the art on the side. It's really cute. I love, love, love the art. Like, Unfortunately, based off um, somebody else who got them on Facebook, there are no posters. So. Yeah, no posters. I would have loved posters of this. Like, if I knew how to like, what is it? Copy? Not copy. Scan. scan. If I knew how to scan, I would have scanned this. This is so. This yeah. is this is the best artwork I've seen in years. That's in the front view. Yeah. It has her name on top, Jade Felicia. It's a I'm, really cute box. She has this cute design. Oh yeah, they, her, all, they both have- This reminds me of the Japanese fly. It does. <laughs> and, the, and the back is just this, but it's still like very cool. It's like holographic very and cool. everything. I'm keeping the box. I love oh yeah, I'm, I'm, the moment I get home, I'm literally like putting that sticky tape thing and mm -hmm. slamming them on my wall because like, absolutely, like, come on. But yeah. Okay, so stop it? I'm just leaving it now. Actually, right. We just opened both of them. First of all, one of the easiest unboxing box, unboxing experiences, thankfully. Yeah. But oh, they're stunning! My God, stunning, stunning dolls! My goodness! Sure. What happened? Yeah, like, oof. oh my God! All right, so I'm gonna start quickly with Felicia. So basically, Felicia has um red eyeshadow um sorry for the lighting and thought it was gonna be good but this is what we're gonna do so she had like red eyeshadow um i want to say like beige lipstick with dark brown lip liner and she also has like i said her first open mouth mold with the gap teeth painted on and she has gray eyes and also the notable difference is the long neon neon yellow hair which is very different but then again it's like it fits her perfectly. Like, I love it. It's so good. She also has a Hime Bang. Looks really good on her. And she also has, um, like, very lightly stroked yellow eyebrows to match the hair. And I'm very glad that designer gave Felicia another chance. Because I feel like her holiday doll last year got a lot of flack. Um, and I feel like this time around, they were like, you know what? Let me bring her back to um perfecter mm -hmm. and she did like this is the perfect brat stall like i don't i don't i don't know i just i don't know i can't speak for everyone obviously because a lot of people are giving these dolls flack and i, I do want to yeah. say something before i continue so like i don't understand like the flack they got to be honest because like brats are known to be the girls with a passion for fashion and they always like push the bound boundaries like for example um Pretty and Punk, yeah. Can Tokyo be, Go -Go. Can be pretty, exactly live in concert. What's another one that kind uh, of Midnight push, Dance? Midnight Dance. Yeah. Like you mean to tell me that you? Like, a lot of people love those lines or what they are, but when they give us something edgy just like that, it's weird. It's mm -hmm. ugly. I'm just like, yo, what right. are you on about? And like, we don't get many black dolls that are alternative and like are. Or edgy yeah, or edgy. different. We don't get none of that at and all. Like Brad's is giving it to us. And they gave it to us in a very like beautiful execution. I think this is a great execution yes. of what like modern like designer They're fashion very current. is. Very current. And I'm and I'm happy for that. I feel like a lot of people want to go back to like 2005, 2006. Not gonna front them. I would love that in theory, but in execution, nobody wears that anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's be real here. Like yeah. I know the jeans are coming are back and everything, but like like 
I want a whole new design. I don't want more repros of like older lines. Yeah. I mean, I do want Princess with Sasha, but other than that, I don't want no more repros. I feel like a lot of people uh, like, what's that word? Uh, rely on nostalgia. Yeah, like and I'm like, I just feel like MGA should start producing, should basically go the Monster Highway, give us one or two reproductions per mm -hmm. season, and then like three or four new lines. Yeah. I just feel like they just, they just need to, I just need a kick. They just mm -hmm. need a huge kick real quick just to be like, hey, wake up. Like, you see the potential that these are giving, just don't wanna like push them as much exactly. as we want them to be pushed. Cause like, I don't know. I just feel like they should, um, they should just take a chance again with them because it's a very good example. Like, and unfortunately not a lot of people can greatly, but can probably say they spent 60 on these. So like, um, excuse me. So like we need more Playline collector dolls that are like this. Like, I don't even care about it. To be honest, I don't care about articulation. Articulation is a nice touch, but brass articulation has been whatever. Cause they keep using the 2018 bodies. Like those are great hybrid bodies, but it's the hands. Like why are the hands long? Yeah. Child. Anyway, so back to the review. We just wanted to rant real quick. Um, so this is Felicia's outfit. She comes with a red leather jacket with a matching skirt and the M is the Mobile Lolo logo, which is on the jacket and the skirt. And I want to proudly say that this is the very first time that Bratz has ever had working zippers, which is very cool and innovative, yes. especially for a doll this scale. And I'm gonna safely take down the jacket and it is kind of annoying. Hold on. And then when you open the jacket, it features this very cool halter top, which is actually looks like it's supposed to be like a star formation. And um, it Velcros, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It Velcros twice in the back, as you can see. And actually, if you guys, I don't know if you guys um, probably bought this doll, but the new Rainbow High Doll Tessa from the Rainbow Vision Royal 3 has a top just like this. So if you have her, it's basically like this. But yeah, that's her top. And then this is her skirt, the very, very, very short mini skirt. Right, I think skirt. it's, it's so yeah, cute. I think it's, this is the shortest skirt Brats ever worn ever, I like literally ever. And then she also has um, black and yellow tights that go from up here to like her, the, the peg part, I want to say. And then her shoes. The details. Oh my God. First of all, the first time I saw these shoes, I literally could not believe that we were getting these for 60 freaking dollars. Like, what the hell? Like, look at this. I think this is supposed to be like a sock shoe situation, like with 2018 Yasmin. But in my opinion, this is executed way better because the colors actually match. So, yeah. But look at this. It has that mobile logo, logo inside as a decal. I. It feels kind of funny. But like, it's still good quality. Feels kind of heavy. For yours feel heavy, mine don't. Okay. Mine feel kind of like, you see? They still feel nice. They feel, they feel really good though. I, I like chess pieces. I, yeah, <laughs> that's why I love it. It feels funny. <laughs> um, also, I do want to say she has nylon hair. They both have nylon hair. So, um, happy washing. They'll be pretty easy. This is very good nylon. Yeah. High quality, high grade. They have some packaging gel. Oh yeah, they come with a lot of gel for some weird reason, but it's fine. It's easy to remove. Yeah, just wash it with hot water and be careful. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so this, and I also do want to point out, this is the very first time, aside from Colt Gaia, that our designer dolls come with two outfits. Because unfortunately, last year, GCDS did not come with two outfits. So, this is Felicia's. She just has a basic, not basic, it's just a dark gray, um, kind of meshy dress. And if you look closely, it kind of looks like it has the Mobile Lolo logo, like the M around it. It's very cool. We also do have the return of the Bratz mannequins that we saw in Formal Funk and also the stands. These will not stand these dolls, but I'm assuming they'll probably stand a regular Bratz doll with yeah. regular shoe size. Probably. Um, so that's it's, it's a good uh, like balance from like the outlandish design from the first one. Yeah, pretty much. And also um, this does remove the back part. So oh, if you want space. I didn't know that. Yeah, me either. <laughs> so yeah, we just- That's pretty cool. Yeah, we figured this out just now. <laughs> she also comes with these really cool, like clear and black sunglasses. And I think it's supposed to be the Mobile Lolo logo on her. I am. And you should put the dress on her too, but the review. Yeah, so this is what she will look like. Try not to say mother challenge. Right. Go. Mother, it, mother. Exactly. <laughs> 
and she comes with uh this is a brand new for brats this is the stand yes, and it's I just the stands. pegs it's very it's very it's so much better than the saddle stand we've been getting mm -hmm. i feel um, so passionately about these stands like finally they get proper stands like th like look this is literally how you display it all mm -hmm. Like, I feel like this is what Brad should have been doing for Since years. Since day one. Like, they, they, like, have, this is, they have pegs in the bottom. Yeah, like, well, the very first dolls didn't, which I understand. Yeah, but like, I feel like once they started putting pegs and ho on holes on their, their shoes, they should have just started coming out with this, like, with every, like, at least a flagship collection. Like, Rock Angels has something similar oh, yeah, to Rock this. Angels has something but, like, similar. that's the only time we've seen it in their, in their old days. But now I feel like all dolls should come with this now. This is very, sp this is very um, good for space. And I don't think it costs that much to produce. So MGA, if you're watching this, Good every time. doll, please, forever. And many colors too. Don't yes, to match. Yeah. Um. Also, just not just this. Ill. Cole guy also does have these. Yeah. Um, we don't have those yet, but we'll our friends, them. our friends have them. Yeah. So yeah, this is the bag that Felicia comes with. It's yellow and black, like her color scheme, and it is actually named Big Bundle, Grand Lots, and Crosses Packet. That's what she. That's what Mobile Lolo names it on her website. This bag is hella expensive, by the way. It comes in <laughs> several sizes, and I think it is, <laughs> I think like 300 euros. Yeah. But it's very pretty, so it's like, I understand. It's also very- Oh, where is in real life? Yeah, <laughs> me too. This is like, this is so cool. Like, what the heck? I, I mean, it's, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on her. Oh, wow, hold on. <laughs> hold on, bruh. Oh, wow. Felicia literally got the bag, and I love her for it. What? I love that. That is so funny. But yeah, it's also the same leather material as her jacket, as her whole outfit, actually. Her whole outfit is actually full leather, but it's very good quality. The stitching is great. Um, this does not feel like the Dynamite leather, by the way, from Brett's Dynamite. If you know, you know. So this will probably last you a long time. Um, but also, they do come with a certificate of authenticity. Yeah. And Jade's turn. So now we move on to Jade. This is her. She's absolutely stunning. Like. She's very pretty. Yeah. Because I think this is our first new Jade in four years. Yeah, right. Since 2018. Oh, yeah. She comes with really long hair, just like Felicia, with blonde streaks. You can still see that in the bangs. Uh, she has like these two double horns. I think they're really cute. <laughs> and it's covered in a. I don't know, I call cuff, them that. Red cough. Yeah. Yeah, red cough. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to call them, so I just call them that. Double it's horns. <laughs> I don't know. Her makeup is. And a cat eye, she has like one lash painted as well. Purple eye shadow with blue in the back. She has heterochromia. Yeah, one eye One red. is red, one is uh, Blue. bluish. Yeah, so basically it looks like um, they're contacts. Yeah, I definitely contacts because she, she has brown eyes. Yeah, mechanically. <laughs> red lipstick, gorgeous lips, and a gap just like Felicia. I'm trying to focus. It's focusing on Mel instead. Uh, so this is the dress. I was worried about it at first because the mesh can be kind of funny on dolls, but this is really high quality. It feels high quality to me. Uh, it has a pleather stars uh, sewn into it on the, what's it called? On the dress. On the cuts of the dress. Yeah, that. And the shoes inspired by traditional Japanese. Uh, Geta? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Because that because get there basically like, um, but they're inspired by Japanese. Yeah, sometimes that. they get really tall. Like yeah, like super yeah, tall. Yeah. So I'm actually very happy that they did a traditional shoe for Jade, and they made it fashion. Yeah. Like I think it's so cool. And it has a star on it. Yeah, I remember those shoes were the first to leak, and I was like, "Yo, a brat stall coming with this." Insane. Mine came a little painted off, but that's easy to fix. Yeah, just, whatever. It's a little bit acid to them. Yeah. These are the shoes, and then she also comes with black socks. Yeah, the black socks. And like, because they can't really put socks over it, I guess. Because that look funny. All right. So while he is gonna dress his Jade in the second outfit, I'm just gonna put. Wait, I forgot to show the sunglasses. Where are they? She also comes with uh, like it reminds me of Batman, kinda. They're really cool. They look good on her. Yep. And while he's dressing his Jade in her second outfit, I'm gonna show what Felicia looks like in her second outfit. Hold on, let me see, because I want to get the bag included. So, oh wow, she looks really good. Anyway, 
So this is what she would look like with her second outfit. Uh, I'm not gonna front though. When we first saw the dress yesterday, I was like, interesting. But now seeing it in person, we, I did a whole 180. Yeah, in person, it looks better. So good. You see the details. I just better. think the person didn't fit it correctly, but it fits really good on her. Yeah. I love the shape of the dress. Very good quality. I think it also has like an under mesh somewhere around here, but I did see an under mesh, so it will protect the outer layer from the inner layer. And this is what it looks like. It's supposed to be like a bodycon dress, like supposed to be really long. Um, it looks. I don't. Uh, it looks okay with the shoes. Oh, wow. I would pair this with a different pair of shoes, but. Um, this is pretty cool, and she has her sunglasses on, which are hella cool, and then her bag, and she's getting ready to just go out and solo like this, because she can, and she wants to, duh. Yeah, she's a queen. I don't know why I said solo, like, they don't live in Stylesville. <laughs> but when they're visiting New York, Fashion Week. I'm a little gapped because of the, she comes, she comes with pink panties. Pink, like, pink. I'm a little gagged. Yellow. Because <laughs> I don't know my colors. <laughs> She comes with yellow panties. I think this is the first time that... Second time. Second time? Because Pride Rotsy comes with panties oh, in oh, her oh, outfit. Oh, well, second time. But yeah. They're made out of the same mesh material. As her dress. Yeah. That's so cool. I think it's cool that they're actually, like, adding little details. Because yeah, I know right. Bratz back then would have not... Even Bratz back then would have not done that at all. So, so I'm very happy that they did stuff like that for this line. Um. Also, I want to say... The dress is a little difficult to take off. Yeah. I don't uh, want to ruin it. Yeah, just take your time taking off the. If you oh, get Jade, um, I'm just gonna show y'all the dress while he dresses her. It, it so cool. Please be careful taking it off, just so you don't want anything to like you know rip yeah. off or anything. So take your time putting it on or off. I don't know. I think it's very cool. It is very um, her vision, very modal brand. I I don't yeah, know. And I didn't like how people were describing her dress, like cheap. I'm like, shut up. Anyway, yeah. Like, we don't have the dress in the pants, so I... Exactly, so how can you tell if it's cheap or not? Right. Like, you won't tell until you actually get the doll. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, just because look, something looks cheap doesn't mean it is cheap. Anyways, now that you're getting her ready, I'm going to play around with her stuff. Can you open this for me? Yeah, hold on. Her socks feel like socks. Nothing nothing usual. Oh, my God. Ooh. Show this. The dress? The dress. Oh my so, god. So cute. I'm a little annoyed because mine came a little scratched up. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe. You can't really, I don't know if you could tell on camera. Uh, yeah, but you but can see it up there. Yeah, it's a little scratched up. And right here too in the middle. You can't really tell on camera. Guys, this looks so good on the damn mannequin. Like, oh my god. The shape. Oh, let me show the other one actually. The dress itself is so cute. Like, I love it. Very good. I love when Bratz did mini dresses. And that's definitely a very current mini dress. Also, Mogulola herself, I believe she also likes wearing mini dresses from pictures that I've seen of her. Also, she's very pretty. Uh, but yeah, this is what the outfits look like on the mannequins. These are the first looks. I think they look so well. Like, oh my god. Amazing. Look. Oh, they have new pegs! They have new pegs. Hey. I scared I broke it. <laughs> it's a second outfit. It's really cute, I love it. Uh, came with this jacket just like similar kind of similar to Felicia's yeah so basically they kind of like have like yeah. mirroring looks where Jade had a dress for her first outfit but Felicia has one for her second and for her for her second outfit she has a jacket mm -hmm. and just like Felicia has it with her first so this time she has a dress yeah came with black like details black and white details and then the back oh, oh, oh my god back. I love it so good she doesn't come with second shoes. No, no, they both yeah, don't, no, they but don't. it's fine. They look cute anyway. If you have extra brat shoes, you can give them your own shoes. Yeah. Well, that's Jade. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the purse. Where is it? This is the purse. It's just like Felicia. Can you see? Can I see Felicia's? I got it, hold on. It's just... Except it's uh, black and white and a different pattern completely. So, yeah. This is them. Yeah, so yeah, this I'll is just... <laughs> what? <laughs> Yours is post so nicely, mine is just T-post. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So yeah. This, yeah, this is, is the doll. Ready for fashion week. Exactly. Actually, they're just starting to go to the bodega. They're gonna pick out some milk, some eggs. Bacon and cheese! Bacon and cheese. That a is so, cheese! A chopped cheese! <laughs> that is so funny. 
But um, final verdict, this this line. Amazing. 10 amazing. Out of 10. Ten, 100 out of 10. Yeah. That's how good it is. See the expectations. The quality is amazing. Um, yeah. Like how you said, it seeded our expectations because we already know for the last year, Bratz has been doing questionable things with Rock the brand, Eagles. unfortunately. But I'm so glad that everything this year, this fall at least, has been pretty good, great. Like I believe the moment that my friend Looking Bratz posted on his video, that we got spray faces back, I'm like, oh, that means the brand is actually going the right direction. They're actually listening to us, taking notes and applying to them, you know, so the brand can at least last longer than the current doll renaissance. Like, I honestly, honestly do want them to last for another five to 10 years, if possible, because I really like want to like, I want to see them succeed even more because I know they have more potential like we said in the beginning of the video. Um, what do you have to show? Yeah, this is the Certi certificate of um, authenticity. authenticity. <laughs> Authenticity. <laughs> I am so sorry, y'all. English is not his first language. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not though. Please. Spanish was. Yeah, same. Yeah, it came in this. Yeah, it comes with a cute little black and white envelope. Um, so yeah, I like closing thoughts. Like like we said, everything is great, perfect. Mm -hmm. I believe for a designer doll now they are worth the sixty dollars because they do come 60. with a second outfit. A very high quality detailed first outfit. The shoes are crazy good. Like, come on, sixty dollars for this? Like, you can't go wrong. And they're also high quality nylon. And, two mothers. And a, two mothers stand before yep. us. And also the boxes. Like, hello. Right. Like, like I'm come keeping on. these boxes. Yeah. And also they do come with a silver brush. Who cares? I don't care. Like brass brushes. Oh it's yeah. Just I'm gonna keeping them inside the box. Yeah. Same. But like, whatever. It's. Yeah. This line is so good. And. I, again, I won't do one to say, oh, but yeah, they don't come with earrings or any type of jewelry, but it's fine because they're greatly accessorized exactly. on their own. There's a lot, there's too much going on already. So it's like adding more would just be like chaos. Yeah. But other than that, this line is so good. And i um, sorry for the lighting. It just got really ugly right now. But at the end of the day, I recommend buying them. Like I said, Felicia, unfortunately, is sold out at Walmart. So you can only get Jade at the moment. She's M1. She's mm -hmm. M2 for whenever anyone pops up. Um, I will link the links in the description box below. Mm -hmm. And yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching thank this for crazy watching. random review. Yeah. Um, anything that we're going to plug in is just our Twitter handles, which is at Rats the World and mm -hmm. at Bonebra. And then our Instagram is at Rats the World. And our, we also have, finally have a spam account for like... Whenever we don't post edits, we just post like our collection and stuff. And it's at spam dolls with a Z. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play with them all day and watch them mm, and whatever. Yeah. So on Twitter, it's so on Twitter. See just, our pictures on Twitter. Yeah. Instagram. But yeah. Bye guys. Bye.